so hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if it's your first time here hi my name is ashley and i'm god's favorite child thank you so much for coming back if you're a returning subscriber and you're a member of team a star in the past few months i've been getting a lot of questions about my work with god someone asked me if i'm a christian i feel very offended by that to be honest because if you've been following me for a while you would know that i am a christian so i also just felt convicted to speak about my journey as a christian certain things that i've experienced certain things i feel like i like to like help someone get a different perspective how you see things also affects how you behave and what you do i think the turning point for me was when i got baptized in 2018 Wow, that's been like five years now. I grew up in a Christian home. I went to church, everything like that. It was, it was good, you know. I just went to church because I just, it was like obligation. You had to go to church. And I prayed, you know, I would listen to worship music, but I really didn't know who God was, you know. Life was just basically like, what I've realized are most people actually, that's the life they live. You're praying to a God that you do not know. Like you've never had an encounter, you've never gotten to know God personally for yourself. And that's one thing I'd like to encourage a lot of people. Know God for yourself. Don't listen, don't like know God from people's perspectives and people's stories and people's testimonies. You know, because know God for yourself, experience God for yourself. And that was my turning point when I got baptized. Because when I got baptized, I started to see God in so many different areas of my life and in so many things. That's something that I feel like changed my perspective and the way i behaved as a person because i knew who i was worshiping who i was praying to and i knew the god that i was serving i started living with intention i started living with purpose i started living knowing my walk my authority in christ because i feel like sometimes we claim that we're children of god but we don't walk like children of god we do not behave like children of god we do not walk in authority like children of god we do not desire like children of god and that's one thing i feel like helps it, it that's one thing that i feel like has made so many people lack in life is because you do not walk in authority when you claim something you walk in that exclamation you know i think first peter is your royal priesthood but royalty but are you behaving like your royal priesthood are you walking in authority is greatness your portion are you behaving like it is and i'm gonna do many videos on this conversation so welcome to jesus journey do you know what you are capable of do you know what you carry within you you walk like you do not know what you carry you do not know who you serve there are certain times where i'm in a situation i'm like but why are you behaving like you are not the daughter of a king the god you serve owns everything as a child of god i would always cry complain I would, I would always whine and i would always question god so many times like why is it that you're doing this to me why is it that this is happening but i've learned to handle storms in a calm manner if you look in the bible in the new testament when the disciples were the storm were in the middle of the storm they were all screaming they were all shouting they were panicking but i've learned to have that calmness that jesus had when he said peace be still it comes from a place of experience i'm not gonna lie there are going to be times where you're gonna shout like the disciples but there are also times when you are going to need to be calm and i've learned that over the years god has made me so patient i was i promise you i've never been as patient as i thought i would ever be in my life and there's a certain type of peace and a calmness that the holy spirit brings you my journey with christ has been very difficult i'm not gonna lie very difficult there's so many experiences you, you go through like you're gonna go through chest trials and one thing i feel like we don't usually make a way is spiritual warfare spiritual warfare will be there but how you handle that spiritual warfare is what defines who you are as a child of god and as a person in the body of christ if you're in a situation where you need to fight back what do you do what are the tools you use for that when you're in a spiritual warfare there's certain spiritual things you need to be able to overcome the spiritual warfare because this is a spiritual warfare prayer is very powerful guys prayer is one of the most effective things that you can ever do when you're in a spiritual warfare fasting is another thing you know there are so many things that the devil is going to try and do to diminish whatever god has placed in you but when you pray when you fast 
those things are so powerful the person that i am today the place that i am today is because of fasting and prayer that is all i can tell there are so many things that the devil is going to do and one thing i can always tell you is if you don't get fought then you don't have something worth fighting for pray without ceasing you don't have to always kneel and pray like fervently Prayer comes in different forms. Prayer comes in what you listen to. Prayer can come in the way you do things. Prayer comes in how you behave. And I honestly feel like your behavior as a person also determines where you're gonna go in life. For example, if in the word it says that all things, God makes everything perfect in his time, all things, everything is fearfully and wonderfully made. And if you do not be yourself, walk within your purpose you don't know yourself you'll never be able to worship god perfectly because everything that god made he made it perfect right and we are his offspring think about it this way the birds are the birds the trees are the trees the trees know their trees and they know their duty and their roles as trees but if the trees decide they don't want to be trees anymore then where does god's glory shine through the trees if you go i mean if you don't know who you are and if you don't know what your role is and where you're meant to shine how will god's glory be given that is why you need to know who you are as a person you need to know your identity in christ and i feel like that's one thing i've grown over the years my journey has not been perfect but i feel like i've been at a certain place where i have awareness i have knowledge you know and when you apply that knowledge you become wise so i just want to encourage you guys guys to know the god you serve know him personally ask him questions god who are you who do you say i am what do you have in store for me why is it that this is happening the way you want the way it's been happening is this aligning with my purpose the decision i'm about to make is going to make or break my life my situation my season the blessings the life that is upon me all those things define you Paul says be imitators of Christ and one of my biggest role models is to be like Christ every single day I ask myself what would Jesus do in this situation like what would Jesus do sometimes ask yourself these questions because that is what helps you become the best version of yourself and so many blessings will come from that so I'm going to be doing a series on Jesus journey this is just an overview of some of the things I've learned I'm gonna get into detail with some of these things very short videos because I know attention span is a problem and I suffer from it too but I just want to share with you some of the things I've convicted to do this for a long time I've been putting it off but when God says yes no one can say no <laughs> Please, please come along with me on this Jesus journey as we're going to grow together in Christ and get to know God personally as a YouTube channel and let's learn from one another. So come along with me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.